All right, uh, I want to try and teach uh, the caution solo at the end of Caution by the Killers. Um, so first things first, I just have to say, I am not Lindsey Buckingham. You are not Lindsey Buckingham. Let's just get, make that clear. Uh, Ronnie explained, the drummer, explained that, quote, he did all the f sort of this flame tricks we were recording, so we slow the tape down at half speed or quarter speed, then he did all the guitar playing. That's how you get these sort of crystally high tinkle sounds. And he just slayed a solo at the end, very end of it. At that time, the song, we didn't really have an ending for it, so his solo was just too good, and that's how we just made the ending. End quote. The song is in G, so naturally he's playing the E minor pentatonic scale. Basically. And an extended version of it. I He goes up here to, to the 20th fret. Uh, which, you know, for a strat for me, is hard to get to. Um, and then, uh, ultimately, I didn't tab this myself. I paid someone on Fiverr to do it for me. Which I'll link in the description and it seems pretty accurate so in the very beginning and throughout the whole solo basically you just want to be cautious of uh, the single notes that you end on in a certain phrase because if you don't do that then the solo is gonna sound like crap so in the beginning it starts off pretty faint you don't really hear it but you hear prominent notes such as right here right here And he, he ends on those. You want to end on those good notes that you know. Um, I'm going to try to bring up the tabs. And um, if you want to practice, I highly recommend on YouTube, if you hit the gear icon, you can uh, change the playback speed by 0.25% uh, each time. I'm putting it in Audacity, which is a free music editor. And I cropped out the solo. What you want to do is just uh, select what you want to change and hit change tempo and I'm gonna play this at minus 15 percent Even I messed up a little bit, like I said, I'm not going to be perfect like him. The most noticeable was right there. Should have been uh, right there. Okay, anyways, let's try to take it through phase by phase. Minus 15 tempo and audacity of what I'm playing at. So like I said in the beginning, you kind of don't hear what he's playing. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So we have... Prominently, the notes you want to hit in the beginning, there's 14 on the G, 15 on the B, 17 on the B. I'm playing a little bit in the beginning on 12 on the D and then 12 on the G. That's what's tabbed out. Let's go through that run real quick so I don't have to talk through it. After you hear that 
if you hear that uh, 17 on the E, here's this little run. It's 15, 15, 17, slide the 19, slide back down, 15, 17, okay? Seventeen, fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, slide, nineteen, 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 slide, seventeen, fifteen, seventeen, B. And then just kind of hits these seventeens again to fifteen on the B. And then fifteen, seventeen. That little uh, slick move right there is fifteen, fifteen, seventeen on the B. 15, 15, 16 on the G, sliding to the 14 on the G, and then sliding back to the 12 on the G. And, you know, uh, he does all this uh, sliding and hammer on pull offs, and, you know, try to incorporate that as much as you can. You know, make it your own kind of thing. Like I said, you're not going to do 100% on the solo, you're just not. So let's try to get around that part. I'm not there yet. Here we are. So that part right there goes all the way down to this G note on the 10th fret of the A string. We show you how to do that little. It's faster than that, but we'll, you know, we'll get there. Okay, so. D string 12 and 14, G, G string 12 and 14, 12 and 14. We want to end on this 14 on this G, but that's where you do your hammer on and pull offs, okay? 12, 14 on the D, 12, 14 on the G. A little hammer off pull offs there. And there for a little bit, kind of do the same thing on the G string again. Once you get to the 14 on the second time, you want to slide up on the G string 16th. Back down, 14, 12, then you go up to the D string, 14, 12, A string, 14, 10. that part right here uh, that little phrase kind of almost does the same thing in the beginning so we're on the D string again 12 14 and then on the G string 12 14 that slide the 16 back down and on the 14 on that phrase then 12 12 and then 14 16 on the G again and then after when you're on that 16 you want to skip down to the B string and then the E string on 15 15 15 and then a uh, slide or hammer on, either or on the B string, 15, 17. You want to end on the 17. I like sliding a little bit more in the solo, but that's just me. The 20 and the 19, uh, mainly, well, not mainly, all on the um, E string, the low E string, or should I say the high E string, and B string. So it's going to be a lot of 19 and 20s. It, it, it's fast, even when you slow it down anywhere. That's, you know, the kind of uh, the complications were if they recorded it at half speed or quarter speed, when they do master it a few times and it mixes it and all that good stuff, and then when we try to slow it down, it's, it's just not going to work. You're not going to be able to hear it as good. But, um, so I apologize for this part in advance. It's, it's very hard to hear. But, like I said, if you're making your own kind of thing, even if you're playing along with it, as long as you just end on those notes, get that bend, and just kind of do what he's doing, you'll be fine. So here we go.
Let's hear it first, sorry. Okay, sorry, I wasn't really ready for that. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, here's a 17. No. Oh, that was the 10, so. Okay. Okay, let's try to get to this right here. Uh, so there's a couple bends in there, okay? And they're both on the 20th uh, fret on the B string. So in the very beginning, we have 20, 20 on the B, 20, 19, and then 20, and then here comes the bend, and then 20 again. 19, 20, 19, 20, 19, 20, 19, 20, 19, 20, 19, 20, 20, 19, 20, 20, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I, let's see, and I, I think during the tab, uh, near that 22 bend, uh, the second time, it says a slide, but I, I can't get there. Uh, I think, I think the 20 and the 19 before that are not there. I think it's, I think it's a little bit too much notes in the tablature, but let's try to finish out the song strong, and, uh, well, oops, we'll try to get, we'll get to that 17 here. And then, uh, don't forget about this 15 right here. It starts the final phrase almost. Rig. Very fast pull-offs. A lot of pull-offs in this one. Okay, definitely pull-offs. We want to keep mentioning of, we got that 15 here. 17, 15, and then 17 on the B. 15, 17, pull-off. 17 on the B. 15, 17. 17. 15, 15, and here comes this little end here, slide, so 19, back, 15, 17, 15, 16 on the G, 14 on the G, and then 12 on the G, you want to end on the G note, alternately you could do 16, 14, and then 17 on the D, because this is the same note. There's a bend at uh, after this. After this little thing right here, it kind of kind of does a 17. Sounds higher there. I'm gonna try advance it a little bit so we don't keep hearing that same part over and over again. Seventeen. Maybe a half bend. I don't know if you guys are hearing it too. But like I said, I, I you know I'm still working on the solo. I, I just practiced it yesterday for the first time, and like I said, you're maybe you are as good as he is, but that part always messes me up. So does this a little bit. But as long as you end on where you want to be, where you have to be, you know, get that final part out. So. Let's play it through one time at normal speed. See if we can do that.
Not terrible.